In this video, we'll talk about OSPF Graceful Shutdown feature. Now, OSPF Graceful Shutdown feature is, is something uh, we can add on the routers, which is going to force the router to advertise its router LSA to an infinite metric. But now the question is why we need to do that? Why exactly we need to force the router to advertise the maximum metric? So let's take an example. This is my core production network where I got some router 1, router 2, router 3, router 4. And there is some issue with router 4. Let's take an example. There is some problem with router 4. And I want this particular router to be reloaded. And I want to do that. Now in general, if you maybe maybe the reason is I'm doing some iOS backup. And once the backup is done, I want to ensure that this router has to be rebooted once or maybe any other reason. Now, if you want to reload this router, normally if you do the reload, if you simply do that, what happens is it is going to force the router one and router three to wait for maximum, maximum hello timers, that is dead time. And in general, the default will be 40 seconds. It forces the router to wait for 40 seconds before it removes the neighbor from the neighbor table and it's going to force the router 1 and router 3 to recalculate the SPF algorithm to reach all the networks which are going via router 4. Now it means it is going to, uh, it, it, there is a simply a strong possibility that the packets will be dropped during the reconvergence time. Now this is something really not good and we really don't want this. Now instead of that what is the better option is, instead of that what I can do is I can simply go to this router before I reboot, I can simply advertise this router with a maximum LSA feature. Now that's what we call as graceful shutdown feature where I'm advertising a router with a maximum LSA with an infinite metric and we can configure that particular thing with, a, with using this command inside the router mode maximum metric router LSA. Now this router is going to advertise to all the routers that to reach its networks there is, it's going to advertise with a maximum infinite metric which is going to force the other routers that is router 1 and router 3 to use the alternate LSA to reach the network instead of going via router 4. Now that's something what OSPF creates full shutdown feature will do. So let's let's practically verify this uh, OSPF creates full shutdown feature. Now for verification I got four routers here and all the four routers are configured with the basic OSPF configurations. So I already did the basic OSPF configurations if you want to verify on the command line, I can go to the router 1 and on the router 1, if I give show IP OSP of neighbors, you can see on the router 1, router 2 and router 4 are forming the neighborship. Similar way, if I go to router 3, you can see the neighborship is up. And even if you verify the routing table, you can see the router 3, I got all the serial links to reach a 10 dot network. It's using both the routes because in similar way here also on the router 1 to router 3 to reach 30 dot network on the router 3 LAN it's using both the routes here. Now you can see it's, it's using both the routes which means it is doing load balancing because all the routes are equal equal bandwidth so it's using load balancing. Now we will test this OSP of graceful shutdown feature on the router 4 here where the router 4 uh, will go to router 4 and will configure the command router OSP of 1 and then I'm going to say I'm going to define the command maximum metric now there is a command called maximum hyphen metric and then I'm going to define it as router LSA now once you configure this command now for verification what we can do is we can go and check on the router 1 before we configure to reach the right door network it is using both the routes and it is doing load balancing and if I give show IP route OSPF now, you can see to reach the same 30 door network, it's using only this route because the router 4 is advertising with the infinite metric. Uh, that's the reason this route is something not preferred. Now for further verification, you can go to router 1 and you can shut down the link between connecting between router 1 and router 2. In my scenario, it is S1 by 0. So I, I just shut down this link. Now once you shut down this link, now this, these routes are actually coming from, the router 3 is receiving the route from this side as well as this side. But this side it will use, it, it will receive from a more metric. And for verification you can go and give a command called show IP route OSPF. Now I can see on the router 1, you can see the metric here 65,000. That's what infinite metric. You can also verify this by using one more command show IP OSPF database and the router 
I think the router ID of the router 4 is 14.0.3.1. This is the router ID of the router 4.1. You'll see the router is advertising with a metric of 65,535. That is something infinite metric, which is coming from from the interface 4.4.4.1, that is router 4. And you can see, verify the same thing in the routing table, because once I shut down this link, uh, by default, it, it uses this route again, but again, you can see the metric is something infinite, 65,535, and it's going to add based on that. And if I sh if I make the link back to up, S1 by 0, now all the routers will be preferring via alternate route to reach any other network, even though the best route to reach any other network will be via router 4, because the router 4 is advertising with a metric of 65,535, something infinite, higher metrics so that the router it's going to generate a maximum metric LSA so that all the routers when they want to go to any other network they prefer alternate route rather than preferring by router 4. Now in this way we don't need in this way even if I reload the device it's not going to affect the network it's not going to affect the actual forwarding because by default the routers are forwarding via alternate route and they are not going via this route and in case if we don't do that if I reboot the router during the process the, the router has to wait for the remaining uh, 40 seconds the, unless it reaches the maximum time for, for the neighborship to remove on and it has to recalculate the algorithm and look for the alternate route to forward the traffic. So in, those, in that particular time duration probably your, your router will not be able to communicate. So to avoid this kind of scenarios we can use a feature called OSPF Graceful Shutdown.